Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. Two NBA greats, Grant Hill and Steve Smith, our analyst tonight, with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I'm Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. B.A. Kawhi Leonard, as you know, who is a multiple defensive player of the year winner, studies film. But what's interesting is he said more than watching the players, he watches the team's whole scheme, trying to know their tendencies so he can guess. He said, quote, that's what it comes down to, really, making the best guess. Guys, it sounds so simple, but the more educated the guess, the better. Yeah, deceptively so. Thank you, Allie. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. Jimmy Butler out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Victor Oladipo. Then it's Kyle Lowry, and it's Adebayo in at the five. And for the Clippers, on the wings, it's George and Kawhi. Marcus Morris out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Jackson in at the one. Well, Grant, we're watching two highly disciplined defenses here. Now, every coach wants his defense to play better, play harder, be connected. But that's not always the case. Where do these teams fall short when they're down at the bottom of the rankings defensively? Well, defense is a number of things, B.A. First of all, it's heart and desire. It's the really wanting to accomplish uh, and have success on the defensive end. It's also trust. Trusting everyone working together in unison to try to stop the other team. And when you don't have those two components, I don't care what the personnel is, you're not going to have success. And of course, you won't be disciplined on the defensive side of the ball. Tries again, and out of bio finishes inside. The confidence continuing to grow off the board. Adebayo takes it right back up. Here's Leonard. Pulls up at the elbow. That shot missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Adebayo, no good. And here are the Clippers now. Leonard passes to Jackson. Back to Leonard from deep three-point range. Oladipo with the rebound. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Tucker. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. There's the triple. And no good. And the Clippers will go the other way with it. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Here's Leonard. Again, the miss by Leonard. The Heat have gone one of four to start. Butler passes to Oladipo. And here's Adebayo. Lowry outside. He takes it in. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss they can live with. George finds Leonard. Over Butler. Again, the miss by Leonard. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. That puts him in the lead. And what I love about Adebayo is he picks smart shots to take. Just an efficient offensive player. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. What's interesting, Bam Adebayo grew up in a single wide trailer home in Pine Town, North Carolina. Now, of course, living with his mother, he made it his mission to get her out of that trailer and into a better life.
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Oh, wasted no time on that one. That's the leadership they're looking for from Jackson. Staying patient, surveying the court, locates the open man. Pass to Lowry. Outside Butler. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. The Clippers in the lead. Now here's George. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Butler. Oladipo on the wing. And George with some nice D. Los Angeles has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Pass to Ibaka. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Fires from the wing. Leonard can't get it to go. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Inside, here's Adebayo. A good find by Kyle Lowry. Doesn't always get enough credit for his vision. Leonard outside from behind the arc. And again, it's the Clippers missing. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. For three, Oladipo. The shot won't fall. And the Clippers will come the other way. George with it. The three ball. Miami grabs the miss. Butler's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Lowry. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, what a pass. Those two read each other really well. Looks like a play they've definitely run in practice. Shoots off the step back. And he nails the jumper. Yeah, hopefully that settles him down after starting the game 0 for 6. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside Butler. He drains that one after two misses. Now 1 for 3. If you're defending Jimmy Butler, you got to hit him harder than that. George outside. Shot is up. And so far in this one, two for four. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Outside Butler. Back to Lowry. The Clippers grab the miss. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. George for three. Jimmy Butler with a rebound. Butler's got five rebounds in the game. For three, Lowry. Paul George pulls down the board. And for the Clippers, they're shooting only 31% to get this game underway. Here's Leonard. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Miami shooting 33% in the first quarter. Now here's Lowry. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Nice job of seeing the play through by Kyle Lowry. Took the contact and still got it to fall. Kyle Lowry, the veteran out of Villanova. Still a top-of-the-line player at the point guard spot. On the back end of his career at this point, but he is still good. That free throw good from Lowry. And with Lowry, he's not an all-NBA player anymore, but he can still turn it up. You know, B.A., he has that extra gear for big games and playoffs. That's all you need. He's so smart, he's savvy, and he knows how to use it. Kyle Lowry should remain a top-tier point guard for years to come. Now here's Oladipo. Adebayo a screen on George. The shot by Oladipo, no good. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Pass to Morris. Back to Jackson. 
six on the shot clock. Puts up a three. Shot by Leonard, no good. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their cause. To the paint. Oh, deflected. It's stolen by Leonard. Now Jackson. Morris outside. Pass to Leonard. Tries to break his ice. And the dunk by Leonard. Common occurrence for Leonard. Once he makes his way to the rim, Kawhi levels up. Here's Adebayo. That's Ibaka defending. And the foul called on Victor Oladipo. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Beverly, he's checked in for Morris. And Miami with a change here too. Robinson, he's checked in for Oladipo. The Clippers trail. And here's Leonard. And he drives in. And the dunk by Leonard. I'll tell you what, when Kawhi knifes his way to the rim, it's next level. Lowry outside. Back to Robinson. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. And out of bounds, the Heat will take it. Miami calls timeout. It's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Lowry. Launches a three. Hits it. Now two of six from the field. Larry, a guy who can do a little bit of everything for you, including stretching the floor. And so here are the Clippers, trailing by two. Beverly against Lowry. Beverly shot off. Miami has gone one for five from deep in this first, struggling from that area. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Here's the three. And Lowry with the bucket on the assist from Robinson. And now it's a five-point heat lead. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Here's Beverly. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. You know, Grant, Pat Beverly said he's trying to be the best defender on the planet. And the way he competes, I believe him. I believe it, too. I mean, this young man from Chicago spent five years fighting and scrapping Shoot overseas. Two. Defense became his meal ticket. But even in the NBA, he's never lost that chip on his shoulder. And the first one at the line is good. Patrick Beverly is a tone setter. Someone who doesn't back down from anyone. I admire his confidence.
And that's good as he hits both shots. The Heat with the lead. Lowry with it. He's got nine. To the middle. Zubats with the steal. Now here's Beverly. Pass to man. Tries it from the top of the key. No good. And it's Miami the other way. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Beverly against Lowry. From outside the arc. The rebound by Mann. No question who's in control of the board so far. And it's Beverly on the drive. And that one's drained from the low block. You see the quickness of Beverly. Blinding speed in the inside. Lowry outside. Pass to Robinson. The three. The rebound by Mann. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting 33% in the first quarter. Here's Beverly. Leonard outside. Goes up from the top of the key. That one goes in. Leonard's got eight points. The offensive versatility of Kawhi able to rise up and hit the jumper there with confidence. Pass to Lowry. A minute 22 left to play in the first quarter. Up top, Robinson. Fires the three. And that comes off the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got his third assist of the night. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. Here's Zubats. Beverly outside. And the ball out of play. The Heat will have it. Kennard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Here's Lowry. Fifty seconds left to play in the first quarter. And he's going for the lob! And a big finish by Robinson. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Out to the right wing. Here's Man. He's guarded by Hero. The Clippers rebound. And that one's good. Man. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why? Lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Hero. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Deadman. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. And the Heat lead by four. Staying aggressive on the offensive boards. Deadman's a tough guy to box out there. Man, blocked! And that does it for the first quarter. It's the Heat. They're up by four. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. And recently, we spoke with Patrick Beverly about his throwback style. Old school basketball. You know, and it's fun and it's light. Fans deserve it on both sides. Uh, you know, it's good old fashioned basketball. You, you know, it's all a part of the game. We're both trying to win. And uh, that's what people want to see hard nosed, edgy basketball. Man, pound for pound, Beverly may be the most physical player in the league. And he also gets in your head. It's a combination that allows him to get stops against guys as big as Kevin Durant. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. 
All right, guys, what do you think about the Heat here? You know, they've been relentless in how they attack the paint. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Setting the floor for the Heat. Robinson at the two with Butler at the three. Bam Adebayo is out there with P.J. Tucker and its hero in at the point guard position. Now here's Butler. Back to hero. Here's Tucker. Shot clock at five. Paul George pulls down the board. George has got four rebounds now. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. I mean, perfection. That's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to that shot. Victor Oladipo has checked in for Miami. And Grant, you were part of one of the most legendary eras in Duke basketball. Now, when you reflect on that time, what stands out, man? Well, B.A., those were great times indeed. And a few things, I think, stick out. First of all, it was when we really made Duke basketball what it is today. Gave us the foundation of this long-term success. Also, of course, too, the bonds, the brotherhood, the experience, the ups and the downs that we went through collectively. All of that together are the things that I like to look back on and really reflect upon during those years. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. P.J. Tucker at 6'5 is more than willing to hold it down at center. He said, so what? It's basketball. I've done it my whole life. It doesn't matter. People ask me why I play so hard. I don't have a choice. That's what I've got to do. Period. Just holding it down no matter what. Thank you, Allie. Now here's Jackson. He's got five. Off target with the three. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Oladipo, the pass to Adebayo. Now Oladipo. Back to Robinson. Adebayo finds Robinson. And here's Butler. There's the three. And the three-pointer goes. Butler's got five. No waste of time on that catch and shoot. Pretty much nothing you can do if he gets it off that quick. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Morris with it. He's against Tucker. Baseline try. And that one comes up a bit short. The Heat have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Let's it fly from 18. No good on the shot. And the Clippers will come the other way. Jackson, the pass to Ibaka. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Morris outside. Three-pointer. And again, no good by the Clippers. The Heat with the lead. Outside Robinson. Pass to Adebayo. And the foul called on Paul George. That's his first foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Leonard's checked in. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. There's a screen. Six to shoot. Back to Oladipo. Puts it up. Gets it to go from the corner. And the Heat lead by nine. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Leonard outside. From the top of the key. Off the left rim and out. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Leonard. They push it up four on three. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. And again, it's the Clippers missing. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Here's Butler. There's the drive. And good. Coming on the setup by Oladipo. And it's an 11-point heat lead. I love the confidence he's shooting with. Big improvement here in the second period.
Well, I've heard you talk about the importance of team chemistry in the NBA grant. Doesn't necessarily fit in the analytics model, but it is certainly still a factor. Yeah, B.A., it's everything to a team's success. When you have an environment with everyone in the locker room, they trust each other, they know each other, they can be real and honest with each other. And as you go through a season and the postseason, you can endure whatever hiccups come along the way. So chemistry, so essential to a team's success. And yes, you can't measure that with analytics. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Now Oladipo. Outside Robinson. Butler into the lane. Oh, a dunk and a foul! A powerhouse move! He's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to go on Reggie Jackson. They call him Jimmy Buckets. And you know why? He loves to get in close and put his strength to use to score. One of the league leaders in free throws made thanks to his hard charging style. You know, Smitty with Butler, he's done a lot of work over the years on his ball handling and footwork inside. Yeah, he said he studied the greats, Michael Jordan and others. He likes to press the attack, see the ball go in the basket before he stretches it out to the three-point range, B.A. And again, no good by the Clippers. The other team just looks more in sync and is riding the momentum. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the time out or do you let your guys try to fight through it? I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night and his teammates have had to rally. Morris, a screen on Adebayo. Leonard on the wing. Hounded by Adebayo. Here's Ibaka. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. There's just been so many years of production from Serge Ibaka. He has been a double-digit scorer for almost his entire career. And surprisingly, has never made an all-star team. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Ibaka, a player you're surprised never got an all-star invite. B.A., I'm shocked. He's been on the cusp several times, but never got there. Regardless, he's always been central to a team's success. Hard to replace a guy in your lineup who gives you so much like Ibaka. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Oladipo outside. Robinson finds Butler. It's stolen by Leonard. Looking to get it going. And yep, that's going to be a flagrant one. Unnecessary contact. He might be lucky just to get a flagrant one there. Lots of contact on that play, and the officials could have gone with a more severe call. Well, he better be on his best behavior from this point forward. One more flagrant of any kind, and he's out of this game. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Kawhi Leonard, a two-time Defensive Player of the Year, has all the tools, and we know he's dedicated on that end. Does an excellent job of scouting out his opponents and taking away their first and second options. And you look at teams, they try to go away from Kawhi when he's on that end. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. Lowry, he's checked in for Robinson. Jackson, the pass to Leonard. Over Butler. Again, the miss by Leonard. Smitty, you get a sense. A lot of players don't like playing against Kawhi Leonard. Because the question, B.A., is why. He is stifling. He denies touches, swallows up your airspace, and despite his aggressiveness, he's rarely baited into fouls. Now here's Butler. Ten points for him. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. 
George for three. Sends it home from three-point land. George has got his third basket on the night right there. Always a threat to get to the rim. This time, Paul George pulls up and buries it. For three, Oladipo. The Clippers grab the miss. And here's Leonard. He's got nine. Over Oladipo. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist from Jackson. Leonard's got 11. If you can't get Leonard a look inside, this is the next best thing. Terrific touch from mid-range. Outside Tucker. And he lobs it up top. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Morris finds some space. And it's Miami with a rebound. Tucker's got four rebounds now. For Miami, they've gone just 5 of 12 here in the second quarter. Here's Oladipo. Clock at six. Knocked loose. And here comes the break. Here's George. And it's Miami with a rebound. Butler's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And it's out of bio. Off the drive. Shot is off. Four for seven in the game now. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from distance during the second quarter. George against Oladipo. George's shot is off. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, Grant, looking around the league right now, who do you think is the best player to have never won an MVP in the regular season? That's easy for me, B.A. I have to go with the fun guy himself. Kawhi Leonard. Yes, we know he's won some MVPs in the NBA Finals, of course, and he's played big on that stage in the playoffs, but he's never won a regular season MVP. We all say he's the best two-way player, perimeter player in the league, and he's done it for the last few years at such a high level. But what's interesting, he may never get it because he's really implemented this load management model to his season which may hinder his ability to one day win a regular season MVP. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. The Clippers trail. Pass to Zubats. Here's Mann. And there's the drive. Soft touch off the glass. He's got a knack for finishing inside. That's easy money. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. For three, Lowry. It's rebounded by Zubats. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Beverly finds Leonard. Tries it from 19. Oladipo with the rebound. Oladipo's got four rebounds now. And it goes, but just two for ten so far. The top half of Oladipo is so strong. It allows him to take a hit and score. Pass to Zubats. Now here's Leonard. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Deadman. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Here's Morris. Lowry outside. Three-pointer. Just his fourth make in ten tries. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Beverly outside. They set a pick. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That'll belong to Kyle Lowry. Patrick Beverly is an irritant. You hate playing against him. Love playing with him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
First free throw is good. Kennard, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. No good on the second free throw. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. We've got 1.55 left in the second period. Morris finds Lowry. Here he goes. Here's Deadman. The three. Batum pulls it in. Here's Mann. It doesn't go for him. Excellent D there from Hero. Miami has gone 2 of 5 from deep here in the second. Takes a 13-footer. Good. He hits the jumper. Hero's got his first points of the night. That's an easy shot for Hero. Very comfortable facing up from any spot on the floor. Kennard into the lane. Count the basket. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Beverly against Lowry. Deflected! Here's Batum. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Got a hand on it. The 7-4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. 34 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Hero with the bucket. Hero's got four points in the quarter. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Lowry. Sixteen seconds left in the first half. Here's Mann. Down to five on the shot clock. Zubat screen. Fires it. And again, no good by the Clippers. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Heat. They're up by 11. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Miami. At its highest, their lead topped out at five points. They controlled the second quarter for the most part, and they were able to grow their lead to 11 at halftime. Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. Uh, their effort has been excellent. The numbers are too, and I don't see those numbers dropping off. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. The lack of assists concern me. If you don't share the basketball, you will not succeed. The coaches have to demand it of their players. The players have to demand it of each other. The only way they're going to come back in this game is as a team. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. You look at Kyle Lowry, he's been playing really well. And the bulk of his production has been generated along the perimeter. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. 
And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. The talented pair of George and Kawhi at the two and the three. Marcus Morris out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Jackson in at the point. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Rolling off the pick, Bam is very mobile. Finds good spacing and his shot. Here's Jackson following the bucket by the Heat. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It goes on Bam out of bio. The seven-foot wingspan of Reggie Jackson makes him a bigger player inside. Helps him draw fouls. First one falls. And with Reggie Jackson, it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more. And so Jackson nails both of them money from the strike he does a great job night in and night out Oladipo with the ball going inside and George with some nice D there is the value of great rim protection without fouling forcing the miss and what's interesting, B.A., is that early in his career, you wondered if Marcus Morris would find his way in this league. And as a tweener forward, it really wasn't until year six that he really took off. Pass to Adebayo. Butler against Leonard, and it's Butler off the drive. And out of bounds, the Clippers will take it. And here are the Clippers now. Nine-point game. And you know, Grant, for a player like Marcus Morris, the game has really pivoted in his direction, I think. That is so true, B.A. And with shooting, has never been more in fashion and more important. So with switchability at a premium, his 6'8 height becomes even more of an asset. Now here's Oladipo. It's stolen by Leonard. Up top, Jackson. Counted by Adebayo. Leonard for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists tonight. Beautiful stroke, a direct result of all the hard work Leonard's put in. Oladipo outside. Pass to Adebayo. And a nice finish on the layup. Adebayo's got 12 points. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Leonard. It's hauled in by the Heat. Butler's got rebound number 11. Lowry outside. Adebayo finds Oladipo. Outside Butler. Six to shoot. Adebayo a screen on Leonard. Butler's shot is good. And now it's a 10-point Heat lead. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Pass to Leonard. Screen by Ibaka. George outside. Fires the three. That one no good. Now the Heat take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Brian, this season started later out of necessity, but there's been talks of permanently pushing the schedule back. Avoiding overlap with football would be a plus, but on the other hand, guys, the players who are parents, they want summer breaks with their kids too. Yeah, that's a lot to consider, Allie. Good stuff there. We'll see how it shakes out. Now here's Leonard. 16 points for him. Over Butler. Leonard can't get that one to fall. 
And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Lowry, the pass to Butler, out to the wing. Lowry outside, jacks up a three. Kawhi Leonard comes up with a rebound. Leonard's got five rebounds in the game. To end the run. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Leonard's got seven points here in the quarter. The defense is right there. So what, Kawhi said, with the high release, he drops it over the top. The shot by Oladipo, no good. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Shot by Leonard, no good. For Miami, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Oladipo outside. Pass to Butler. And good. Coming on the setup by Oladipo. Oladipo's got four assists now tonight. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Now here's Jackson. Seven points in the game. George for three. Rebounded by Butler. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, at Kentucky, Bam Adebayo's role was defined. Rebound, Double. defend, screen, two. and get to the rim. All the while behind the scenes, he has worked on his offensive skill set. And with old school big men losing favor, some concern coming in that Adebayo wouldn't have the skill to flourish, Smitty. Little did they know, B.A., his hands, passing, and shooting touch were all more advanced than he was given credit for. And now he's finally getting the chance to show what he can do. And he knocks down the first one. Bam Adebayo has been fairly solid from the line throughout his career. The Heat making a switch here. Robinson's checked in. And both free throws good for Adebayo. Los Angeles has gone just one of three from deep since the break. George outside. Shoots over Robinson. That went off the back iron and out. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Otto Bio catches and finishes with ease. Now here's George. Give him eight. Shoots over Robinson. And the Clippers miss again. And the Heat with possession. They've got a 13-2 run going. Back to Lowry. The three is up. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Lowry. Timeout called. The Clippers. Well, throughout his career, Kyle Lowry has been fantastic on defense. As tenacious as a defender as they come, Grant. B.A., one of my favorite players in the league. I mean, of course, Lowry's small, but has a low center of gravity. Bigger guards can't move him, and he can stay with all the smaller guards, too. Lowry's elite when it comes to taking charges. Beverly, he's checked in for the Clippers. The Heat making a switch here.
Los Angeles has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Jackson down low, working on Robinson. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The burst of Jackson makes him a hard guy to stick with and difficult not to foul him. And that one falls for Jackson. The Clippers making a switch here. Zubats is checked in. And Miami also making a switch. Heroes checked in. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Heat have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. Pass to Deadman. And here's Robinson. Here's Deadman. Now Butler, defended by Jackson. Right at the free throw line. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Clippers really having a tough go here. George outside. Pass to Leonard. Denied by Adebayo. This shot can't get past Bam. His reach is just too much. Morris, he's checked in for Adebayo. And for Miami, they're shooting an efficient 55% in the third quarter. Pass to Robinson. Here's Deadman. He's guarded by Zubats. Deadman, no good. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting a very low 27% so far in this one. Beverly finds Kennard. Here's Mann. Takes it inside, and that one is stuffed right through. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime-time dunk. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Again, the heat misses. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Pass to Batum. Here's Mann. Robinson defending. Mann misses. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the 1-3, and that was in the first half. Now here's Zubats. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Mann. For three, and they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Miami has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. Pass to Robinson. Kennard against Butler. On the take. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. So reliable. They've really leaned on him at the offensive end. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Man, gets the three ball to go. He's got nine. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And here's Butler outside. Butler can't get that one to fall. Los Angeles has gone two for five from three since halftime. Now Kennard driving inside. He gets it in there. Kennard's got his second basket on the night. Outstanding decision. Kennard is getting better and better at creating offense for himself. 
Hero outside. Pass to Robinson. Now here's Butler. Tries it from 19. Again, the miss by Butler. And they'd love to cut this deficit down to single digits. Beverly with it. Here's Mann. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. Pass to Deadman. Outside Robinson. Here's Deadman. He's guarded by Zubats. It's deflected. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. Butler on the wing. Just five on the clock. Eight makes out of 15 shots. He's got it going. Oh, my. You have to respect the aggressiveness he plays with. Ooh. Beverly outside. Here's Mann. Out left to the wing. Here's Batum. And he converts the layup. I like that. Punch it inside. You usually end up with a good shot and or get fouled. Pass to Robinson. 19-footer. No good there. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Beverly outside. There's 39 seconds left in the third. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Deadman. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Hero outside. Pass to Robinson. From the arc. Hits the trifecta. Robinson's got 10. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. Here's man. Here's Batum. The shot from the low post is good. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Heat leading by 10. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 32% for this game. Not what they're hoping for. And let's take a look at Miami. They've got P.J. Tucker, Kyle Lowry out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's Duncan Robinson. And it's Adebayo in at the center position, filling out the middle. That one misses. Kawhi Leonard, the 2019 Finals MVP. He clearly had the doubters and critics on his mind as he celebrated, as we heard, from the inscription he had inside his title ring. He hits the second from the line. 
Smithy, you talk about Kawhi's critics. You know, after he left the Spurs, Coach Greg Popovich said he hadn't been much of a leader there. How about his leadership now? Well, B.A., not a rah-rah guy or a towel waver. He leads by example. The way he works, competes at both ends, and wins. So to me, that answers the question of leadership. And the Clippers with the ball. The Heat making their last shot. Here's Leonard. And it's Miami with a rebound. Adebayo's. And here's Lowry. Out to the wing. Launches it. And the ball out of play. The Clippers will have it. They've got plenty of time to get back into this. Yeah, I'm sure they feel pressed, but this is when you have to stay calm and execute. And it's Jackson on the take. And he makes it. The way he glides around the court doesn't look like Jackson is moving as fast as he really is. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Outside Robinson. Pass to Oladipo. 4-3. It's hauled in by the Clippers. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Leonard passes to Ibaka. George outside from deep. Adebayo grabs the board. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the flow of the offense, the whole team suffers. Lowry with it. To the paint. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. You're going to have to foul Bam a lot harder than that if you want to prevent the N one. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And we're about two minutes into the fourth now. Hey, Leonard. Leonard against Robinson. Leonard on the take. Lays it up and banks it in. Leonard's got 21 points in the game. A beast on the dribble drive. You see Kawhi right there undeterred by contact. Now here's Lowry. Oladipo outside. Robinson on the wing. George defending. The shot's good. And the Heat lead by 12. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead.
Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Lowry outside. Oh, there's oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. I can't believe he just did that. Now that is incredible. Bam is cooking right now. Once he flips this switch, he's tough to slow down. Now here's Leonard. Into the lane. Free throw drops for Leonard. Kawhi was drafted 15th overall in 2011. If they had a redraft, I wonder what number he would go down. And Leonard drops them both. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo, to the inside. Oh, George with a steal, and it's the Clippers on the break, and George with the jam. The anticipation for the steal, the athleticism on the finish, Paul George is a game changer. Pass to Tucker. And he's going for the oop here. And a big finish by Robinson. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Robinson against Leonard. Shoots over Robinson. Pass to Lowry. Shoots from the baseline, and that one's long. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. Free throw drops for Leonard. Now Lowry. Inside. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo slams it in. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. Jackson. The pass to Ibaka. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Lowry. Fast break. Here come the Heat. 17-foot shot on the way. Here's the second effort. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. This is where Bam goes to work, which in turn draws the D's attention. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And really strong at the line since the break. And both free throws good for Adebayo. See, now he's getting defenders back on their heels a little bit. Getting to the foul line here in the second half. Jackson outside. Here's George. 
with the drive and the jam by George. And with those long strides, it takes Paul George no time to get to the rim. Lowry, the pass to Adebayo. Robinson against Leonard. Lowry outside. Pass to Oladipo. Over George. No good off the back of the rim. I like it. That's a great battle at the rim. He just couldn't finish. And here's Ibaka. Now George. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. George has got six in the quarter. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Oladipo, left side. No good that time. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Well, a lot of times we associate scoring with the star players. For Paul George, important to be a complete player. And his defense, it sets him apart. Smitty, how about Paul George? Seems like his game really starts at the defensive end. Well, Brian, he's not caught up on his stats. He's looking to compete, guard the other team's best player, and he knows his offense is just as potent. Now here's Oladipo for three. Robinson. Offensive board. Adebayo. Hands it from short range. Adebayo's got 29. <laughs> Continue to get that man the rock. He's delivering whatever it counts. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Throws it up high. And finished off by Adebayo. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. And here's Jackson. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at five. Over Robinson. And the Clippers miss again. The Heat have gotten eight of 15 during the fourth quarter. Lowry to pass to Adebayo. Down low. Deflects the pass. For three, Robinson. That shot is off. Miss number six of the day out of 12 attempts. Pass to George. Takes a three. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. George has got 12 points now in the quarter. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Now a timeout called by Miami. It's hard to disagree with the timeout here as the team badly needs to regain focus. They're out of sync offensively. Way too many turnovers and looking frustrated. They need to get back to their pace, their brand of basketball. we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Bam Adebayo. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. 
he is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. And so here is Miami. 17 points was their biggest margin. Butler, a screen on Beverly. Here's Lowry. Good, and Butler gets the assist. And the Heat lead by nine. That pick and roll is where Kyle Lowry shines. The defense left with only bad choices. Leonard against Butler. Fires high post. Shot by Leonard, no good. Oh, man, he hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. And it's Butler off the drive. Banked it in off the glass. And now it's an 11-point Miami lead. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Here's Leonard. Softly drops in the floater. Leonard's got 28 points for the game. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Adebayo is screen on Leonard. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. Everything's been working for Butler tonight. He's developing the identity of a superstar. Beverly finds Leonard. George outside. Driving in. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 22. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Oladipo outside. And he gets it to go. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Leonard with the ball. Denied by Adebayo. And he gets it back. Leonard, good. Now here's Butler. Lowry outside. They set the screen. Here's Oladipo. That shot off. Ooh, nice D from George. To the inside. Morris passes to Leonard. To the middle. Beverly against Adebayo. Shot clock at six. Here's George. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got six rebounds in the game. Left side, Butler. This one for three. It's rebounded by Ibaka. Ibaka's got six rebounds here tonight. Butler against Leonard. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. And he gets that one. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now here's Oladipo. Adebayo a screen on George. Here's Oladipo. Ooh, nice D from George. Los Angeles has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Leonard against Butler. And it's in. And that cuts the lead to just five. He's a bona fide star. Kawhi Leonard with the workmanlike approach. Pass to Butler. Leonard with the ball. Now guarded by Butler. Beverly into the lane. Morris with it. Let's go with a three. And it's good. And he's brought them within two points now. Whoa, whoa. That is as clutch as it gets. Big time play. This is why we all watch. The NBA is about these moments. Now here's Butler. Adebayo sets a screen. Looking to win the drought. Money. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out.
Leonard, right side. For three. Adebayo grabs the board. And they foul intentionally. Now, they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. There's 10 seconds left to play in the fourth. And that's an intentional foul. Shooting two. He gets the first, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. Nine seconds left in the final quarter. And the Clippers miss again. That's tipped. Now Lowry. So it's Miami picking up the win. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.